Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. We've got freaking lasers! With sharks? I didn't, I didn't know we were going to have any sharks in, in here today. Yeah. Or maybe some ill-tempered sea bass. Sea Perhaps. bass? Well, you I don't think... You haven't even seen that movie, have you? I know, no. Do they have oh, sea bass in it? Bro. Maybe we'll have to watch some Austin Powers with our next guest, <laughs> Derek. Derek. How are you, sir? Great, Surely thank you've you. seen Austin Powers. I have, I have. She she has never seen a like she's seen nothing. She hasn't even seen Star Wars. But I have seen The Notebook. You haven't seen Star Wars. The Notebook. You oh, host no. a show called Serious. Geek Beat. I literally have. Serious. That is not you, true. First you and foremost, I have seen Star Wars. Called Geek Beat. Wow. <laughs> I have seen Star Wars. I don't know what all he's talking about. Have you seen all of them? Trying to throw me under the bus. Okay. Well, anyway, we've got you know more what? important things seen, to talk about today. Which is cooler than any movie out there. Really? What yes. is that? This thing. That is true. I don't even know what Pretty it is, cool. but it's awesome. What is it? Derek, <laughs> tell us about tell us about your magnificent blue product here. This is the Ferro X330. So we did some scanning yesterday with it. Yeah. And by when he says we did some scanning, I put that in quotes because he had a whole crew out here at the Geek House with like how many of these Five things of did you even have? Four? We did have three. We had three. two X330s and one X130. And these okay. things cost, I, I, I hate to jump to the punchline, but I just have to say, these are expensive. Yeah, they are. They're, They're professional, professional level yes. tools. Absolutely. So you you brought the team and the hardware. Mm. Absolutely. And, and you, you scanned, scanned the decals everything. inside and out. Now that surprised me actually, because I yeah. thought these were indoor devices, but you can do outdoor as well. We can. Perfectly. Very cool. Capable to scan in direct sunlight. Oh, I have okay. a question for you about the scanning process. I know we got, like, really, we're going to get into this, but there's one very important question. Sure. How many times did Callie interrupt the scanning process Me? by getting in front of the laser? I think a it lot. was you. A lot. I know. Really? It was a lot. It was a lot. I did? Yeah. What about him? Once. Pro Wait, uh, what? See? <laughs> see? Dude, you're on his side? It's true, though. I had to pay. I had to pay a lot of money to make that happen. <laughs> wow. Anyway, let's get into it. So let's talk about what the Focus 3D does. We talk. It's so. It's you said it's a laser scanner. Yes. But not like the kind that I get at the grocery store where you go beep. beep. Right. No, okay. Not at all. <laughs> so basically, what it is is it rotates 360 degrees and it captures a point cloud, and then it, it'll also capture pictures and make it colorized. So I'll show you what we actually scanned yesterday, and you'll be able to kind of see what it looks like. Oh, so okay. wait, it's gonna scan, it's gonna shoot laser beams and take pictures. Is it yeah. dangerous? Both. It's not dangerous. It's completely eye safe, class one. Oh, okay. okay. So you can look at it. So okay. we can be in the same room as obviously I I was. And yes. Haven't What's died the yet. range of it? Like how far away can it shoot lasers and stuff? For this one, three hundred and thirty meters, which is just over a thousand feet. Wow. Oh wow. So so you can take that. Let, let's say. You could take that into the middle of a football field and scan an entire like stadium or something. For Absolutely. Example. The way it works, it's line of sight. So if you can't see it, it can't see it. Okay. You just okay. move to the next location and do another scan. And, and which okay. piece is it that is looking, that is seen? Um, so on the side here, you can see this. Actually, there's a mirror here. And the beam hits that mirror, and then it rotates. So if you want to do a scan, we can do a scan. Oh, yeah. Scan it up. So. Do you have to just choose some options or what? Basically, I already created a project. Okay. And so we, if you can work a smartphone, you can work this. I, I can't. What's a smartphone? Yeah, that's okay. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a geek house. Yeah. <laughs> geek house. <laughs> and so we're pretty much ready to go since I went ahead and created it. You want to push start? I do. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Did you capture that, Carter? <laughs> So it's you're ready. Rotate. You're ready to go earn a living. Scanning <laughs> in you're qualified. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to rotate for the first 180 degree pass. It's going to take point cloud data, and then the next 180 degree pass is going to take individual pictures. Okay. How many so pictures does it take? Uh, 75, I think. Can you actually? I mean, let's say, let's say you wanted to use it as a really expensive. Uh, panorama photography <laughs> tool. You could. Could, could you turn off the laser scanning and just do the pano photos? No, or? you can turn off the color though and just have the point cloud, but you can't do. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So right. this thing is moving. Yep. And it's just going to continue to rotate. Now, as you mentioned, like we did as a team, we were all kind of getting into the, the shot accidentally from time to time. Sure. Do you remove that? Does it create like a chopped off person? It does. Like, okay. Yep. And so. Inside of Recap, we did some editing and um, cleaned all that kind of noise okay. out. 
Yeah. So like the the, noise. He noise. called you noise. He, nice. did, he just called me noise. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think anybody's ever done that before. In reality, I got in it way more than anybody else. Probably, I was all over the place. So this thing is spinning. Wow, it's moving that fast. Is, like you That's can right. barely see it. it. It's like you just. Like, I literally can see. What would happen it if you stuck your finger so in there? It would hurt. <laughs> it would hurt. That's okay. So the laser's safe, but that's yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> that'll take a finger off. Yeah. So really, like this particular capture is going to be crap because we're all moving around and and all that stuff. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So in an ideal environment, you would put it in a room, vacate everybody, and just let it go do its thing. In an ideal situation, but that's not always perfect, right? So right. we can so, like go in said, and actually can. delete people out if we need it. That is cool. So, is it hard? Very easy. Wow. It's easy to delete people. Don't, <laughs> just don't piss this man off, okay? That's God. right. So um, the thing is, though, what, what I noticed was you were going around, you had the team, like, take this unit, and you'd put it in one corner. Mm -hmm. and oh, wait, you have what's another it doing now? Sorry. Right now it's, it's sorry. taking pictures of you. It's, it's like, actually doing the exposure metering. We don't oh. have, it's that's basically automatic um, Exposure. Oh, exposure. And then sensing conflict. the light. And it's then almost it, like HDR. So it blends it. Yeah, we right. don't have an HDR because yeah. that would be too big, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So um, you, you were sticking these things in like different corners of a room and getting it from all different sides, but I imagine that means you have multiple sets of data. So how do you deal with that? Yeah. So what we did was we brought it into the recap, which I can show you here. Yeah. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, so this, we did 60 scans yesterday. Okay. And about, oh, are we going to get a first look at the Geek House? Yeah. <gasps> cool. Okay, sweet. So, we haven't even seen this. Yeah. Uh, uh. So can you see? This was the outside that okay. we made. Oh from my the point goodness! That is the top. Wait, you That's you went roof. up on our roof and did this? I did not. This was actually from the inside wait, out. So oh, wait. that's our. Those are our ceiling oh. our lights. So we can actually okay. go in here. And go right here. You're like actually, Superman. You can just fly right through the walls and I see through the Superman. walls and stuff. And so this Super is the point woman. cloud data inside of the Autodesk Recap. So cool! Pro. Look, there's our conference room. The win. And then we can the go here. And Wait, what are around. those bubbles? These are different uh, panoramic views. We can actually click on these, and it'll pull me into uh, the scanner positions. So, oh, that's where the actual device oh. was. Yes. So you can tell where you have Having these things positioned. Okay. Some reason. There we go. So it should be pulling me right into the. So you had image, one, and then once so we go in, you did okay. like one scan from back in the corner of that room, and then you did one from kind of in the hallway, a doorway, or whatever. Oh Everywhere where we gosh, wanted the, the data. Desk central. Wow. Which will be in here later today, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Wow. We went out pretty much all over. Wow, that is really cool. Essentially, it's a virtual tour inside of a point and so, cloud. And so, what? I mean, is is there is there any? What do I do with this? Yeah. What do you we know? do? What, now that you got this, like theoretically, what all oh, could be done with it? No, so, that's not. That's a printer. Oh, we just went outside. Oh, we flew through the walls. We went through the walls. Oh my gosh. So basically what we can do with this, we can bring it into any Autodesk platform, and then we can start doing our modeling, bring in new models to see if clash detection, where things are actually going to hit each other if they are. Um, what do you mean? So if I were to model a pipe, bring it in and want to redo this whole area, we want to make sure it fits before bringing it in and realizing, hey, actually it doesn't fit. Ah. So some guy comes out here. He takes, he takes a measurement with a tape, you know, measure, whatever. He's like, oh, this is... 11 foot, 2 inches. Perfect example, Let's go John. make this pipe. Big ass fans. Yeah, that is true. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we wanted Our to put a big, a ass, big fans. ass fan here. Yeah, they wanted they want to give us a fan to put in here, but we were, the problem was we don't know if they could do it because we can't really get up in the ceiling very easily to measure everything okay. and all that stuff. So yeah. I guess we could take a 3D scan of the of the inside of the building. Absolutely. Shoot it over to them and they take their 3D model of their fan and see if it will fit. Absolutely. And then awesome. here you can also see, we can actually pull some measurements. So if I just select on the corner there and I can actually click on that and it gives me a measurement. Right now it's oh, listed wow. in meters, but we could change that to inches, feet, whatever okay. your unit of measure is. Wow, that's so, very cool. And all, pretty simple. We can also make notes as well if we needed to. And where, how do those notes get, just whenever somebody else is looking at this version, they'll yes. see uh, like a little bubble or whatever. Oh, yep. You know okay. what would be cool? If you could like embed a little video note or something in there or a little audio file note or something. So when oh, you get to a yeah. certain point, there's like a little recording. Oh, by the way, take a look down in the right, right. corner or whatever. And now, ATT customer actually is asking a good question in the chat room. Um, 
Does this apply to gaming in any way? Can get the gaming industry use this? Absolutely. We have a number of customers kind of across the board. Anywhere where you need anything captured in 3D, that's it. So here in Texas, oil and gas is a big one, but gaming, EA Sports, I mean, we have got a number of customers that are, are big customers, so okay. using this filming industry. So like if they wanted to, uh, let's say they were going to try and make a, a recreation, a war a war game and they wanted to recreate a particular area, mm -hmm. then they take this out and they could scan the hills and everything and build a whole map and then you'd have a realistic, just, awesome. just what it was like at that, in that area. Absolutely, and then you can use any Autodesk platform like 3ds Max or anything like that, bring in and kind of do your animations that way. Very cool. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. This is super exciting. I, I think this was one of the things I was really excited to see the most yeah. because I didn't understand what a laser scanner was going to look like and do and how it would accomplish all of it. So thank you so I much. I am assuming that most professionals know how to get a hold of you guys and where they can get these things. But just for the record. Yeah. Where, where, how would, how would people go about getting one of these or getting training how to use them and things like that? So we have a number of distributors and then we also have direct sales as well. So you can just go to faro.com and find a distributor or go through that whole process on finding a scanner that way. And that's nice. F-A-R-O. That's right. Faro. There you go. Okay guys, <laughs> Thanks, hope you Derek. enjoyed the Thank little you. virtual tour there and the intro to the technology that made it. We'll share more about that later on, but thanks for sticking around for this video. Thumbs up on YouTube. See you if you got them. Later. Bye. Thanks.